sometimes you know What else can we do when we're feeling low So take a deep breath and let it go Good afternoon Red Bank. We're about to put the cherry on top of an awesome homecoming week. The big pep rally starts in a little over an hour, and tonight we've got the homecoming football game versus Eastridge. And at halftime, we'll crown the 2016 homecoming queen. And homecoming week wraps up tomorrow with the big homecoming dance. It's from 7 o'clock until 10 o'clock on Saturday night. And on today's show, we'll look back at some of the fun from homecoming week. All week long, students and staff have been dressed up in the strangest outfits. We'll have the highlights from the homecoming theme days just ahead. RBHS has 22 new faces on the faculty and staff this year. You'll meet some of them in part three of our series entitled The New 22. The story is coming up. The volleyball team remains undefeated in district following their big win against Hickson. The highlights are coming up in sports. And even though it's early in the year, some seniors are already thinking about graduation. We'll hear from them a little later in the show. Tonight's homecoming football game should be a good one. Red Bank will be hosting the Pioneers of Eastridge. We'll preview the game coming up in sports. And will the summer ever turn into fall? Your complete weather forecast is coming up a little later in the show. It's Friday, September 16th, and you're watching the main news. The main news. Over an hour, the best pep rally of the year will be happening in the new gym. We'll find out if the seniors can hang on to the spirit stick, and later tonight we'll find out who will be the homecoming queen for 2016. The week is filled with great activities, but some will argue that the dress-up days are the best activity of all. Here now are some of the highlights from this year's dress-up days. Third place winner, Bree. What was the inspiration behind your uh, costume? Well, at first I wanted to be Monopoly Man, but since that was a fail, I just kind of came up with it. All right, congrats. All right, I'm here with our most sauced millionaire. Billionaire. Billionaire, our first place winner, oh, Daniel Cox. What was the inspiration behind your costume? Well, it was obviously Hillary Clinton. I mean, you know. You're a very beautiful woman. Thank you. I'm here with one of the winners from Throwback Tuesday. Uh, what era are you from? I'm from the 80s. And well, what are you? Um, I'm a material girl. <laughs> I'm here with some of the winners of uh, Throwback Tuesday. What are you? I'm a pink lady. I'm a greaser. And uh, what era are you from? From the 50s. <laughs> 
It's a lot of luck. It's about it. It's just luck. Luck. Um, Your luck. I'm here with Grandmama Abel. How do you feel about being the oldest person in this room? I feel pretty good about it. You know, I've lived a long time. I always on the Noah's Ark, but you know, it's cool. RVHS, RVHS has a record number of new teachers and staff this year. There are 22 new employees that are brand new to our school. So each week we've been introducing you to the new faces, and today you'll meet three more. This, part, this is part three of the new 22. Welcome back to the new 22. On the last episode, I'm uh, Coach Higgins. I'm Miss Smith. Hi, my name is Coach Payne. Calb, and I teach English 9. Um, I'm from Cleveland originally, but I just moved up here. How do you like ribbing so far? I love it. Um, I haven't worked at that many schools, but I think that Red Bank is a good place to be. I'm excited. And can you tell us an interesting fact about yourself? Something that I always share with my students at the beginning of the year is that I love Taylor Swift and I love cats. Um, so I actually have an Instagram for my cat, so that's kind of probably lame, but it's meow underscore miss Mia. <laughs> so yes, that's my cat's Instagram. Somebody did repost her and it got like 3,000 likes, but just saying. <laughs> we are here with our new assistant principal. Her name is? I'm Monica Gordon. And what do you do here in the school? Um, basically, my job is to make sure that anything that Ms. Harper needs, I take care of. So I help with discipline, I help with um, RTI, help with Title I. Um, did I say discipline already? Definitely discipline, 11th grade. You got a point, dude. I'm coming from Brown Middle School. I was a sixth grade science teacher over there. I'd been over there for 10 years, and I'd been interested in um, stepping up, trying to see if I could help more students on a larger global level, I guess instead of just helping just a small class of students. Well, I've learned that several students don't know that I brought my daughter here when I came. Uh, she's an 11th grader here as well. So that's something interesting about me. What is your name? Teresa Ireland. And what grade do you teach? I teach special education in the CDC class. All right, where are you from? I am actually from Tennessee. I went to school here, but I've been in Indiana for the last 18 years, and our family just moved back about three months ago. And how do you like Red Bank so far? I really like it. It's been a lot of fun. And apparently I'm supposed to mention that Mrs. Smith and I are sisters. <laughs> I um, worked at Disney World after I graduated from college. On the next episode... When to go. Okay. Wait. Let me know when I'm ready. Okay. Stay tuned next week when we'll meet more of our new 22. Well, the football team wants a big win on homecoming night, and the volleyball team is on a roll. Let's get the scoop as we head on over to sports. The football team loves to play on homecoming night, and that's because the crowd is loud and rowdy. Tonight, that tradition should continue. We've got two evenly matched teams battling for the district title. The weather should be perfect. So come on out and make some noise. Kickoff is at 7, and the 2016 Homecoming Queen will be announced at halftime. Let's go Big Blue. The volleyball team has been on a good run. 
The girls have been practicing hard this week as they head into the final two weeks of regular season. Red Bank is coming off a big district win over Hickson earlier in the week. The two teams split the first, two games before the Lady Lions took over the match. Red Bank would win the final two games by scores of 25-19 and 25-18. Senior Marjorie Smith led the offensive attack. She had 16 kills during the match. Cassidy Payne anchored the backcourt with 14 digs. And Shelby Romans was a serving queen. She led the team with four aces. By the way, four aces is also good if you're playing poker. Red Bank has a big district home match this coming Tuesday in the Lions Den. They'll play East Ridge. The JV starts at 5 with the varsity to follow at 6. Stay hot, netters. The soccer team was looking forward to playing at home this week. After several road matches, Red Bank was supposed to play Marion County in the Den, but Marion had to cancel because they didn't have enough players. So it's back on the road for the Lady Lions. Their next scheduled home game isn't until October 6. That'll wrap, up, that'll wrap it up in sports. Back to the news desk. My well, glasses are off. we're only a month into the new school year. It's certainly too early to talk about graduation, right? Wrong. Our Shea Hughes hit the hallways and found out a lot of the seniors are ready to walk across that stage right now. Hi, I'm here with Puntro, and we would like to know how he feel about being a senior. Oh. It's fine. I'm just trying to turn up and win the spirit stick. You know, you got to stay focused. Keep your eyes on the prize. We trying to graduate. Class 2017, we in this. I'm ready to get out to school. Yes, I can go to college, get my degree, become a nurse. But it just haven't hit me yet that I'm a senior because I still kind of feel like a junior. But just wait. Graduation time. Turn it up. Turn it up. I'm just so thankful that the senior class finally won the spirit stick after three years of not doing anything. So that made my uh, senior year good so far. And the fact to beat Saudi has made my senior year over the top. So it's been amazing so far. I'm here with Kayla Hash Brown, and we want to know how you're feeling about your senior year. Well, senior year is down pretty good, considering I was not excited about it at all. But. It's good. Well, seniors, don't be in too much of a hurry. The time will go by fast. But I am in a hurry to get some fall weather. Let's get the latest forecast as we head on over to weather. Well, can't you see that it's just raining? There ain't no need to go outside. Hardly even notice when I try to show you. Song is meant to keep you doing what you're supposed to. Waking up too early, maybe we could sleep. Make you banana pancakes, pretend like it. Normally, the high temperatures this time of year are in the low 80s. This week, we're in just the mid 90s, just a couple of degrees away from setting an all time record. Today's high temperature is expected to reach 90 degrees. The low at the low at night will be 69 degrees. The heat will continue for the next several days, but there's a chance we'll get some well-needed rain this weekend. A passing front will give us a 50-50 chance for rain on Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. But no need for rain gear tonight. The weather will be beautiful for our homecoming game. Back to you. Well, it's birthday time in the main news. On the main news. Let's find out who's got to be there in the next week. Oh, child, oh, child. But I'm piped up. See that boy right up. He piped up. See that girl right up. She piped up. Uh, pipe it up. 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 I walk in the club just to pipe it up. I stand on the stage and I pipe it up. Get a regular hotel, I pipe it up. Buy a bando and I pipe it up. 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 Walk in the club just to pipe it up. Hey. I stand on the stage and I pipe it up. Hey. Get a regular hotel, I pipe it Go up. Buy a bando, then I pipe it up. Quavo. Uh. Uh. Pipe it up, pipe it up, pipe it up. Pipe it up, pipe it up, pipe up, pipe, pipe, pipe it up. I walk in the club just to pipe it up. Walk in the club just to pipe, 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 pipe it up. She was a basic bitch till I piped her up. She was a boom, 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 basic I'm just doing my dab. I call it the pipe it up. Damn. They know that I'm having blue Benjamins. Benjamin. They know I'm on top of the pyramid. Uh. They know I'm a go to the Guinness. No. That'll wrap up our show. Remember, if you ever miss the main news or you want to watch the show again, we're on YouTube. Just search for RBHS and the main news, and you can check us out. 
and come on out to support your football team and your homecoming queen candidates tonight. The game kicks off here in the den starting at 7 o'clock. And we'll see you tomorrow at the homecoming dance. Have a great weekend. Everybody gets high sometimes, you know. What else can we do when we're feeling low? So take a deep breath and let it go. You shouldn't be drowning on your own.